I was born in Ethiopia. I have four sisters. I'm the youngest in Ethiopia and one brother. So my mom was a single mom. Uh, so when my dad left with five kids, my mom, and then he came back and she forgave him. So, and then she got pregnant with me and he left again. And there's this guy who was part of like my family. He support my mom and uh, he support a lot of people around our neighbors. So he decided to open an orphanage and he wants his, he wants one of my mom's kids to be a part of that, just to start his orphanage. And uh, my brother's like, well, I would love to be part of that, but he's, he's older than me, so he doesn't have more uh, time to stay in the orphanage because when you are older, you can't stay that long. When you're 18, you have to leave and find a way of to grow. But he's like, but I have a young girl who's a baby. She can stay and still support my family longer term than me. So that's where it started me being a part of the orphanage. And I didn't live in an orphanage. I was with my mom and my family all the time. And then uh, as time goes by, the orphanage got bigger. A lot of friends left to come to the United States. Uh, and then uh, I remember when the, guy, when the orphanage got, the owner told us, like, she had found a family who wants to support you, who wants to be, like, who want to help you with things, and you can go there and live with them. The last time I saw my family was, you have to go to Addis Ababa, the, that's the capital of Ethiopia, to stay so your family can come and visit you, which is that's the first time I met them uh, was at Addis Ababa. The, the, the clerks, uh, my mom and dad. And before that, I saw my mom for like a day so she can come and sign the paper and stuff. And she brought some of my sisters. And that's, that's basically it. We didn't realize, I didn't realize that I would be staying in there, like as actually as a family. I didn't take it as that way. I just thought like, it's just a family who's gonna keep me like for, for a while, to, just to help my mom and dad, and my, my mom in Ethiopia. Yeah, we fought a lot the first year. Uh, there was a lot of conflict, not understanding like how to love me or to understand me. Well, included like my parents too. Like, there's a lot of miscommunicating. Uh, there is just a lot of not understanding, but as I, as as I, as I I grow and as we grow as a family and welcoming them in my heart and actually in my life, welcoming them in my life as thinking they're not going to leave, because since I had already have in my mind that well, I already love my family, like what is this? They're gonna leave anyway, so. I, I train myself or I welcome them in my life. That took a long time. Basically, my journey is based on uh, Joshua 1 9, God will be with you wherever you go. That's what I've been holding to from the day that I came here because I, there is a part of a story that is lead to my life that get me closer every day with God. Is I remember when I went to church with my sister. There's this guy, they were praying, and he came to me and said, I just want you to know, and God told me, I want you to know, he wants you to know this, that God will be with you wherever you go, no matter what. People say you never know where life takes you, but you never know where God chooses to take you. I, I was 10 years old when I realized that there is a God when I had, when I have nothing, when I left everything behind, when I, uh, when I just like restart my life without speaking no language, with, with leaving my mom, my sisters, and my, my brothers, and anything that I treasured. It was, it was hard. It wasn't the best thing that I want to go through. I don't want anybody to go through where I came from. But at the same time, if that's what it takes to get close to God, I would, I would redo it again. I would do it. Because it's, I don't know is the best thing.